on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. What's up, mini truck? We're going to work on your breathing today. I'm going to try to mess with that carburetor. Get some stuff in line so we can supercharge you. That's right. Supercharged. Look at that nightmare of hoses. Just do it. All right, finally checking out this carburetor so I can do this supercharger eventually. That's the float assembly. It comes off separate. And I look down in there and I see that's the main jet. Which is very easily accessible by that drain. So that's awesome. I'm going to pull that out and see what they use for a main. And that's the main jet. I see no markings at all. For a jet size. I have some number drills, so let me see if I could size this up. So using my number drill, I determined this is a number 56 drill. Now the thread does look the same. That's the closest I can get. It has a fatter head, so I hope it doesn't interfere with the float, but let's see. This is a 120. So that's a 120 equivalent. Now the thread is the same. I could see, but man, that head's going to be sticking out way further than the other one. It clears it. Wow. So that's good. So I'm not even 100% whether this is going to work or not, but this is the carburetor I bought off eBay that the application said it was for this S83. It looks very similar, but won't know until we try. And what I want to do before I switch over to the supercharger is try this carburetor as a replacement. I just want to see, maybe it squeezes out a little more power. Maybe they do run them a little on the lean side, which would be my guess. One thing I have to mention is that this has a mechanical choke. You see it has a little idle up when you put the choke on. It opens that throttle a little bit. And it's also spring loaded a little bit. So if you run it with the choke on, you rev it up, it doesn't totally kill the motor. It's got to idle up cam built on and of course your throttle it has an accelerator pump I believe I paid like $65 for this of course this is God over a year ago maybe going on two years because I'm afraid to take many apart because she runs so good but I'm going to have to do it. Get that jet plug back in there and we'll, I guess, start labeling vacuum lines. <laughs> also, they never had any kind of washer on this, which is kind of weird. Dug through my fiber washer set and I found a fiber washer that fits on there pretty perfect. Brass is probably better, but I just won't over torque it. You see my pressure washer wrench? fits perfectly saw this little washer laying on here it's not from underneath the screws that hold the float down must be what they put behind the jet so that makes it a little thicker so it makes me feel a little better that that isn't going to be interfering inside the other main jet that is which was a 120 correct no more playing around you won't feel a thing man Jeebus, there's a lot of vacuum lines. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> and connections. Let me get a good picture of this before I take it apart. It's always good to have reference. 
My God, look at all these. I figure if I label them all that way, I can make my own manifold. Because that carburetor does not have as many vacuum lines as this does. Mm-mm. Looks like the fuel hose I'm gonna need a fitting because that probably is not the same size. This, of course, has the wax style choke, which uses the antifreeze going through it. I'm gonna have to take those off, probably put them together. Lots and lots and lots and lots of vacuum lines. Look at that, man. Got an old wire marker pack. You have manifold vacuum, venturi vacuum. An atmospheric vacuum. Manifold vacuum is anything from the butterfly into the head that has a constant vacuum until you open it up wide open and you lose your vacuum. Venturi vacuum is metered behind that butterfly flap for the throttle. And what that does is as you open it, the throttle, it produces venturi vacuum, which mainly on most cars back in the day, it would advance the distributor timing. There's a little diaphragm that it pulls on and it would advance it. And then atmospheric, of course, is like the fuel bowl, like this here, that's that's atmospheric. But you know, this is filtered atmospheric. You don't want to just go into the air. So we gotta label those. And I got these labels here. I should probably go manifold is zero, port is one, and atmospheric is two. Manifold is zero, venturi is one, and atmospheric is going to be two. Don't forget that. Some of these have thermostatic switches, which screw into the block. Some of them have electric switch solenoids. And this is what stopped me every time I started this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of these may not end up back connected. That one, that's venturi. Venturi is number one, right? That's what I said. Still don't stick good. Hopefully it'll stay stuck to itself. That's a Venturi because it's behind a butterfly. I'm sure these haven't been off since 1991. Another Venturi. That goes off the other side of the diaphragm for the distributor. So I'd imagine that is manifold vacuum, if I had to guess. And I think I'm right on that. This used to go to the old air box. <clears throat> this one here is atmospheric, I would guess. It's definitely atmospheric. Atmospheric is two. This goes to the choke. I'll put a C on that for choke. Finally found a manifold. This one's a manifold. And it runs on this upper. I'll just leave that off for now. There's another one on here, huh? That's manifold. That's manifold. This is also manifold. Yeah, yeah, this is also manifold. I gotta say, for being a 91, these hoses are amazingly in good shape. It's crazy. It's also manifold, because it's off the opposite side. And just in case something happens, and I have to put this thing back together, I'll know. That solenoid, apparently, it's like a choke idle up or something, will not be needed. You better run good, Minnie. Now do you see why I've been waiting? All right, so I'm just gonna leave this off. I'll put a C on that one too. <laughs> like I'll remember it's choke. Should I put a C and a P? Choke, pull off or something like that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that choke, pull. <clears throat> ah, there, that worked. Not, that's for the, what is that, charcoal canister? So that is Venturi, which was number one. I believe that carburetor, that's a fuel shutoff. Carburetor has one. Those are antifreeze lines. I'm gonna have to find some kind of connector and put them together. 
We got two little needle nose vice grips to stop the flow of coolant. You use these, you don't want to go too tight. Just enough to pinch it off, but not break the hose. You'll feel when it's get a little, a little pressure. Hmm, I don't think I have one smaller. Jeffro would have it. No, I might have to use this. And cap it off until I get the right one. Mm-hmm. I don't like doing that, but I don't have much of a choice. Now the radiator is only 12 to 15 PSI. I have one of those squeezy thingies, but I can never find it when I'm looking for it, so do the old-fashioned way. Use my welding pliers, huh? that uh, no kink since added away because that throttle cable would have been that would have been an issue it's like I got enough room to get that bolt mofo goes way out here does it this carburetor did leak a little by when I shut it off I could smell it once in a while not all the time vacuum lines on this are extra important and you know why right because the locker the four-wheel drive axle disconnect and a few other things work off vacuum there we go it's ready to pop off okay that is a six millimeter that's yeah, coming. I know, I know. That's what she said. Oh, look at that. Well, that's pretty neat. You gotta say, Japanese engineering is pretty, pretty neat. Do my throttle cable. Hey. And then, what do you suppose that is? It's got to be for pollution. For the fumes or something. Hmm. Don't know. It's pretty big, though. Why such a big line? Mowed that before. Let's see if that carburetor I got is going to work. Well, I'll be. Certainly looks like it will. That's a bigger, too. Oh, look at that. The eBay carburetor is like almost 32. The one I just took off is 28. Center to center, roughly 71. Between 71 and 72. Look at that. This might work out better than I thought, boys. This might be a upgrade right off the start without the supercharger. Stop dripping. I'm stink the whole house up. My wife's gonna come down. And then I'm gonna be in trouble. Hmm. It's a little little rough in there. Do a little port and polishing. This is hitting for the choke. That's the throttle. Hmm. What am I gonna do about that? Start just a little bit too. Wonder if I could bend that up. I got it so it'll work, but what I had to do was twist this up a little. Throttle cable's still pretty good in line with that. I can still sneak the choke cable through on that. And I also noticed this carburetor has this, so 
So that o ring's not going to work. I have to make a gasket. Pull this o ring off. Like this. Get some grease on this baby. That's up right like that. Oh, I did bend this tab up out of the way a little bit too. It was the stopper for the flap, but it already has an idle and an idle up for the choke, so um, it's probably for assembly so the flap doesn't get stuck. Would be my guess. Yeah, still gonna work. When I do put this supercharger on, I'm gonna have to make that flange twice. Because <laughs> I gotta make a flange for the carburetor to mount to the suction side, and then I gotta make a flange to go to that that's gonna connect to the pipe. <clears throat> See, now I can manipulate this to work and this will fit back on there hmm, that might work i think i have fuel line that'll work that will work hang in there mini operation's almost done a little more there should leak looks like i need about a little over a foot of fuel line. There, got him. Yeah, I know that trick. This will go like this to here. Now for the fun part, figuring out where all these vacuum lines go. This went to something that I don't think I'm going to need anymore. Because that was that choke thing. So, if you want to try to attempt this yourself, I'll put the link below. Hopefully it still works. If you feel brave enough. What color was that, huh? It was that black one, but I don't know. I gotta find out which one has power. Put that fits. That works. There's enough I can lower the idle. I gotta see which wire comes on when I turn the key on. Looks like a lot of those vacuum lines were for pollution control, which it's not going to have. Oh, that one. And that one too? What the heck? One of the bottom two, let me go back to the carburetor, let's see. Facing the plug, it's going to be the one on the left bottom. I ran that to the distributor and that to the distributor. All the rest of this looks like pollution. I guess we gotta just see if it works. So the only thing I don't have is that's vent, that's atmosphere. But I should be able to try this out. There's no choke, so I'm probably gonna run crappy. Let me open up the door. I'm sure it's gonna have to crank a little to get the bowl full too. Let's see, Manny.
this thing was like 10 turns out and it feels like it might have to be that way, huh? Too little fuel, you would think. Oh, it's even idling. I wonder if this is primary. Must be leaking around that thread. Doesn't sound too bad though. Make sure there's no vacuum coming out of these lines. That could be what it is. Nope. Hmm. Let's see if I can tighten that up a little. It's pretty tight, but. I got it. Put the bed down, Cheesy. Got a hill climb at low RPM. I believe I did a 0 to 60 a while back, but I couldn't get to 60. I'd have to redo the timing, too. Jet feels like it's about right. But when I give it a little throttle, it feels like it stumbles, like it's advancing too fast, maybe. See, Mini? It does feel a little better. Idle's a little high, but I hope you start back up. I'll give you some 89, 93. I don't know if I can afford it on you, Benny. Prices are redonkulous. Even for 89, $3.79. Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
7.8, almost 8 gallons. About right. You weren't empty. Woo! She burned a tire. You burned a tire, Minnie. Only one way to tell, and that's recent Jeffro. Second gear. Definitely got a little more power now, Mini. What do you think? You like it? I right, just got to make sure all the four-wheel drive and stuff works. <laughs> Hard throttle still feels a little off, so it's gonna stink off road until we get that straightened out. But curious whether it's the vacuum advance on your distributor. Lower your idle, see if we can. My assumption is correct. If I switch these two around. Got him backwards. No, I definitely didn't get him backwards. Sounds good. Need a few more test drives. Take you out a little later. I gotta order a choke cable. I gotta measure that, don't I? Yeah, I'll measure it inside. Put it down here, probably. Oh yeah, it doesn't have that dead spot now. All right, Mini. We got more power. And that choke cable's got a ball on the end of it. Now yeah, let me just get a measurement under here so that's two feet to the end of the cab and loop around and go to there so that's three four feet it's shorter than I thought the next day I feel like I want to put a bigger main jet and it looks like I could definitely get it in there without pulling a carburetor that's leaking a little bit I smelled a little gas when I came down. Oh wow, that was really loose. Guess I shouldn't use that cheap old wrench, huh? I don't even know where that went. Let's see if I can do this without taking the carburetor off, huh? 124, there we go. Mm. Dropped it. Thought it was worth a shot. Gotta take it off, boys. A lot of stuff's not going back. Lots of spare parts. Wash my hands. I think it was better the other way. We're too rich.
bridge now, Mini. Put the 120 back. Well, be careful when it's warm because I loosen this up and apparently this intake manifold has antifreeze running through it. Because I loosened it up and that rear plate separated and leaked antifreeze all over. Darn it. I hope none got in the cylinders. It doesn't look like any antifreeze got up in because that manifold luckily tips down, but huh, I hope not. I guess a little did, huh? Like that one bit. So I try to do the timing a little. I'll go a couple degrees. I have to check the antifreeze when it cools off, but we still got heat, so. Alright guys, till next time, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when I upload stuff. Minnie really appreciates it. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.